everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I decided to bring back the vlog type video. Uh, for the past, I would say, few weeks now, I've been doing nothing but like workouts and stuff uh, because they're just easier to film and edit and so I can get up a lot more videos that way. So today, we're starting off with breakfast. I got one cup of oatmeal with some apples, got some stevia and salt to taste and a little bit of, did I say cinnamon? Not a little bit, it was actually a lot of cinnamon. And then got two cups of egg whites with just some sea salt on it and then of course a black coffee. This has been my go-to breakfast for I would say a couple of weeks. I switched over from eating uh, the Kodiak cakes to oatmeal and egg whites because a lot of controversy has been going on with the Kodiak cakes saying it's not really a good protein source because it's like wheat protein. I don't know if there's any like facts to that or anything but if it is the case that's the reason why I kind of switched over to more like uh, plain foods. So done with breakfast and it was delicious as normal. Kaysen's over here just playing away. He actually should not even be here. Uh, Kaysen and Shelby and let me explain a little bit because this has been a very weird week. Uh, so this past weekend on Saturday, Shelby gets a phone call from her brother saying that her grandmother isn't doing very well. And we knew that her health has been on a decline because she has been in hospice care for the past couple of months. Well anyways, she gets a phone call from her uncle on Sunday night saying that her grandmother passed away. And this is the same grandmother that in one year lost her son, which is Shelby's dad. And then like two months after losing her son, she lost her husband of like 65 years. And then two months after that, she has a stroke. And I think the stroke had a lot to do with her being so sad and stuff because who wouldn't be after losing her son and her husband within months? So very devastating. So she moved in with her uncle and she's been in hospice care. So anyway, she passed away on Sunday night. So we've been trying to figure out how we're gonna be able to make it down to Mississippi uh, with all these kids because flying wasn't an option because we have a dog and Gaynor cannot fly and we don't have anyone to take care of him. So we would have to drive. And a drive from Austin to Memphis takes us around 13 hours with these kids. Without kids, it takes about 11 hours. So it's a very long time. And we wouldn't be able to stay in Mississippi very long because I have a gym meetup next Friday. I fly out to Miami uh, with Muscle Tech. So I'm not able to stay out in Mississippi very long. So we pretty much have to drive out to Mississippi on Thursday, go to the funeral on Friday, and then drive back on Saturday. And we didn't think it was very fair to the kids to have them sit in the car that long just to stay down there for one day. So we thought the best plan of action was to have Shelby fly out with Kaysen and her mom and then uh, Peyton, which is Shelby's sister. They're gonna fly from Austin and go down there. They're gonna fly out on Thursday. So that was all planned out. Everything was ready to go. So they went to the airport around three o'clock for a 5.30 flight. They get there and then they find out that there is bad weather in Dallas, which is where they had a connecting flight to get to uh, Memphis. So all planes was pretty much grounded nothing was going in or out of Dallas and they were trying to find flights. They were jumping on like different planes trying to figure out how to get to Memphis and they weren't able to whatsoever. They were there until around I guess 12:30 a.m. on Friday trying to find a flight and they could not find one. So by the time they figured out that they were not making it to Memphis, they didn't even have enough time to drive. Uh, so Shelby just came back that morning early friday morning around one o'clock and just stayed here so i was originally here with brady and kenley thinking that they were going to go down there for a couple of days and all of a sudden shelby's back here at the house so she missed her grandmother's funeral which is just devastating because i mean that's closure when you go to a funeral and stuff and who wants to miss their grandmother's funeral but you know her grandmother was at that point of life where uh, she was you know ready to go and stuff so a little bit different uh, because, you know, when you're that old and stuff, you kind of expect it. It does make death a little bit easier. Now, I've lost uh, like three of my grandparents. I only have one living grandparent right now, and that is on my mom's side. But, you know, when you love someone like that, you just hate, hate to miss their funeral. But literally, it was nothing she could do about it. Check out how big this kid has gotten. He is like growing so, so fast. He is standing now, not by himself or anything. He's pulling up on things standing. He is crawling all over the place and his teeth are getting out of control. Show him your teeth, Case, and say, ah, look, look, say, ah. Yeah, he is just, 
he is just sprouting up so quickly. He's just massive now. And he is just like the happiest baby. Hey, can you give me a kiss? Can you give me a kiss? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Come on, don't embarrass me. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. He's not gonna give me a kiss. Normally he would give me a kiss, right? Give me a kiss. Kiss? Nope. <laughs> you stink. It is now lunchtime and this is gonna be my pre-workout meal. So I got some rice cooking, got some chicken. So just a very plain meal. And I think Brady's game day turned into Shelby's game day because she has been over here playing Crash Bandicoot a ton recently with him on Saturdays. Right, Brady? Is she beating all the levels? So they beat Crash Bandicoot number three and now they're working their way backwards and now they're trying to beat Crash Bandicoot two. So they're doing the opposite of what you should do, right? You should I play the first the one and I then go up. The, I beat the other one. The other one? Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I beat the other one. So I originally thought I would be taking two off days uh, because Shelby was supposed to be out of town and I had the two kids. So I was not gonna be able to work out on Friday and today, which is Saturday. But since Shelby is back, uh, I'm just gonna go work out today. I worked out like eight days straight planning for this because when I found out uh, Sunday that her grandmother passed away, I knew that I uh, would either be driving like two days, so I knew I'd be taking off at least two days, or Shelby would be gone, and then I would uh, be taking off because I would have to watch the kids. So uh, I feel good, so I'm just gonna go in and work out why, you know, take another off day really to watch Shelby play uh, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> So a little tip for you guys that makes cooking so much easier is getting a meat thermometer. I've had one for a very long time, but I haven't used it up until recently. And let me tell you, it is amazing. All you do to check your chicken, of course, is jab it in the chicken and it immediately tells you what the temperature is. So before using this, what I would do is just cook the chicken and then cut into it and look at it and see if it's done. And when you do that, you lose a lot of that juice and moisture. And it's good to keep that in there because it tastes better. And I've been cooking a ton of like turkey burgers and stuff, and this is the game changer. So I'm gonna have right at like a cup of white rice. The rice we use is jasmine or rice. So a cup of that, and then right at six ounces of chicken breast. And another great thing to have is meat scissors. I'm telling you, it saves so much time than going over there to the cutting board and cutting up your chicken. All you have to do is just grab a fork and just cut and put your bowl on a scale. And it's just so much faster. And this is going to be lunch. So I do this basically every single day. I used to have like chicken and rice, you know, like pre-made and stuff. But recently, since I have time and stuff, I just like to cook all the stuff fresh. And the seasoning that I'm gonna use for the chicken and rice, uh, I already put salt on it. And for the chicken, what I seasoned it with was this, Parmesan ranch seasoning, which is really good on the chicken, but I wanna have some extra flavor, so I'm just gonna put this teriyaki sauce on top of it. And per one tablespoon, it's only uh, 15 calories. Now that will add up, so I don't add that much. Right now, I am in a stage of trying to lean up a little bit because of that meetup here in Miami. I didn't wanna be like 210 pounds or anything. I wanted to lose as much body fat as possible so that I look good for photos and stuff with people. Uh, right now, I weighed myself this morning, I was 203 pounds, so I'm down about seven pounds from, I guess, like a couple of weeks ago, because me and Shelby have not had a cheat meal or anything since right after my birthday, uh, because we decided to clean up <laughs> our um, eating habits, because before that, we were eating, I would say, cheat meals twice a week or something like that, and... Uh, after we had the Super Bowl, my birthday, and Valentine's, it was like three major, not really holidays, but it was <laughs> three big events that we ate a ton of calories. So ever since then, we've been trying to keep it like more clean. And I haven't really like tracked really hard or anything like that. And I'm still seeing progress. And I've only done, I would say, maybe four cardio sessions in the past like three weeks. So it hasn't been that many. I do need to start up in my cardio more. Now, Muscle Tech has already told us that we have to be shredded for the Olympia uh, this coming October. Uh, so really looking forward to that. We're gonna be doing a two day photo shoot in Vegas for the Olympia. So I have to be shredded for that. So if I wanna be competing and doing photo shoots, it's gonna be sometime in October. So I do need to look up dates so that I can plan a contest, right Shelby?
All right, so got done with that meal around 15 minutes ago. And I still feel good. Like that's the reason why I like that meal because it's not too filling. If I were to eat like a big bowl of oatmeal or something, I don't feel great. And I don't feel like going straight into a workout. But this I can pretty much go straight to the gym. It takes around like 20 minutes to get to the gym. Uh, so that's like a perfect amount of time for me to like get energy uh, from kind of like that food and it digests uh, really quickly. So I got my pre-workout. You fork the boogeyman punch. I'm gonna have one scoop. Today is gonna be a push day. Not really sure exactly what exercises I'm gonna be doing today uh, because I just did like a heavy, uh, I think incline pressing with dumbbells last workout. I'll have to look back on my videos. Uh, but I went up to like the 150 pound dumbbells for like, I don't know, three sets of like six to eight reps. So I went pretty hard on that last push day on incline. So I think maybe this workout will be more focused on shoulders and then you know of course work some you know incline work as well and some chest but i think the main focus is going to be shoulders today and then got my protein powder i'm going to be bring this to the gym this is by far my favorite protein for right after the gym it tastes incredible the chocolate but this is the new iso way if you want to check out any of these products from muscle tech scroll down to the description box use that link because that will directly support me and i really appreciate it and if you want to save money use code able and that will save you 15 percent so one good thing about recording all my workouts is that I can look back and see what I did the workout before. So I thought I did incline heavy dumbbell press, but I ended up doing Smith machine heavy uh, incline press. So I'm gonna switch it up today and do heavy barbell press, which I normally don't start off with, but I wanna try it out today and see how heavy we can get. Now, I already did four warm up sets before going to my first working set, which is 315 pounds. But I will say my tendonitis is really hurting right now. I think that's due to doing arms just two days ago because if I work triceps really hard, uh, my tendonitis will start to act up. So I'm not really sure how this set's gonna go. Uh, if my tendonitis really kills me throughout this set, then I might have to go down to like 275 pounds and work with reps maybe around, I don't know, eight to 12 reps. This, if, my tennis night it starts to like warm up and feels good. I should be able to do maybe eight to 10 reps. If it feels bad or I'm having to put it like rack it, it might be around five to six reps if it's a bad day. So this is the first set. So we're gonna see how it goes. Oh my gosh, that felt like a house and my tin ice is killing me. Like that really, really hurt. Not gonna lie, I only got five reps. I was thinking I was gonna get around, I don't know, eight to 10 reps. So I definitely need to go down in this next set. So I'll take off the 45 and put a 25 on there and make it 275 and see if it feels better. But man, that set was rough. I feel like recently I've just been complaining so much about my tendonitis, but honestly, the past couple of months, it has really been kicking my butt, but I'm just have to work through it. So I went down to 275 pounds, hoping that this set is gonna feel better since my elbows and everything is warming up throughout each set. Uh, so this is gonna be the second working set. And I'm hoping too that the 275 pounds feels a little bit lighter since I went for a heavy set of five reps with 315 pounds. Because let's say if you were to start your working set with 275 pounds and did your 10 to 12 reps, uh, you know, that's gonna feel pretty heavy being your first set. But if you were to start off like I did with 315 pounds, and then do like a set of five and then go back down to 275 pounds, sometimes it feels a little bit lighter for those 12 to 15 reps because you lifted heavy to begin with, like you're tricking your body. I don't know if everyone feels that way, but I know I do. If I were to go really heavy at first and then back down the weight, that weight that would have been heavy for those 10 to 12 reps feels a little bit lighter because you went so heavy on the first set.
<laughs> Set of 12. It didn't feel that great, honestly. It felt really wonky and my elbows just don't feel really tight right now, but I got it done. Now, as the sets go on, I know it's gonna feel a little bit smoother. So probably gonna only do maybe one more set because I always end up doing too much. And I know if I were to do like four working sets, I'm not gonna be able to go as hard on the next exercise, which is gonna be incline dumbbell press. And then I need to focus on more of my shoulders throughout this workout. So I don't wanna to do too much right here, but I'm trying to debate if I need to go up by 10 pounds on each side, but I don't know. Probably gonna to stick to that weight just because of how my elbow feels. And working in the hypertrophy range, which is around anywhere from like 10 to 15 reps, somewhere in there, I think it's gonna be better for muscle activation and muscle building more than going heavy where I'm only getting around six to eight reps. I think it's gonna be more of a benefit for me right now, especially with that tendonitis pain, because I could, if I would lift too heavy, it's gonna be acting up that elbow more. And I don't need to do that. Oh, I don't need my headphones because they got Justin Bieber playing. Heck yeah. Nothing like a little Bieber throughout your workout. Third and final set here. Okay, that was a good set. Everything seems to get more and more smooth and warmed up. And this is why I end up doing like normally four to six working sets because it takes me that long to actually feel good. Like right now, I feel like I need to do like another two sets, but I need to move on to the next exercise because right now after, holy crap, after warming up, filming, I did have to wait for this bench a little bit, so. But it's been 45 minutes in the gym and I've only like warmed up. Now, what you did not see, I did some band external like rotations and stuff and cable work to really warm up my rotator cuff. And then I grabbed a pole and did some like stretches, slight stretching my chest and shoulders. So that did take anywhere from like 10 to 15 minutes, but even still, that's a long time to just get done with your very first exercise. So let's move on. So first working set here, I did two warm ups. Uh, the first one was with 70 pounds and then I went to the 105 pounds. Only reason why I went with 105 pounds is because it's like the lowest weight that's on this other rack over here because you have four different sections of dumbbells. So you have like the lightest way down there and then it goes to like the heavier ones on this end, which is goes to 100 and then you go up to 105 on this end all the way to the 150. So I just went to the 105s and now first working set, 120 pound dumbbells. Uh, I'm gonna do three sets of around 10 to 15 reps. Probably the first set will be 15, 12 to 15. And then as the sets go on, then of course the reps will go down just slightly. Dude, man. All right, second set here, let's go. Ah! <sighs> 
12 reps, that was a good set. So I'm not gonna record the third set, I think it's gonna be the exact same thing, but it will probably go down to only 10 reps because that was 12. So first one was 14 reps, 12 reps, and the next one, maybe 10 to 11 reps. All right, so I ended up doing four sets of incline press because I just felt like I had a little bit more in me and I went down in weight. So I went from the 120 pounds down to the 110 pounds and I got at like 12 slow and good reps. Now over here to high to low cable flies. I already did three sets. It's gonna be the fourth and final set uh, for around 12 to 15 reps. And then when I hit failure flying, then I go into a press to failure again. Now moving on to shoulders, I'm gonna start off with dumbbell seated shoulder press. Three or four sets of around, I don't know, 10 to 12 reps, somewhere in there. Maybe we'll only do three, just depends on how these feel. So I'm gonna go down for, do another three sets. So four total sets, but I'm gonna go down to the 90s so that I can get out the 10 to 12 reps instead of eight. So let's try out the 90 pounds now for the second set to see if this is the perfect weight. <clears throat> getting fatigued that was only nine reps so I need to even go down even lower go down to the 80 pounds so fourth and final set here with the 80 pound dumbbells on the third set I went down to the 80s and was only able to get out 10 reps I'm hoping to be able to get out another 10 reps here Now moving on to dumbbell side raises. Four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. I already did one warm up set and this is gonna be the first working set with the 30 pound dumbbells. So this is the second set. I just go up to the 35 pound dumbbells because I think I can get out like 12 good reps. is a good way. So I'm gonna do another two sets with this and then move on. So now we're moving on to the third exercise for shoulders and it's gonna be dumbbell front raises, both arms at the same time, three sets of around 12 to 15 reps. Uh, this is actually the last set. I recorded the last two, but every single time I did it, the angle is wrong. And that's the problem with recording. And that's why it takes so long for me to record is because so many shots, I think I got it lined up right. And then when I watch it back, either the lighting's off or the angles off. 
so that's the reason why my workouts take like two hours. <laughs> So now moving on to the last shoulder exercise, and that's gonna be reverse pec neck fly. Now, I know a lot of people would say this is more for like a pool day, and I agree with that, but I like to work rear delts when I work shoulders. So four sets of around 12 to 15 reps, and then on the last set, just a single drop set. So now switching back to chest, I know it's a little bit different, but I thought since I did four exercises for shoulders, it's only fair that I do four exercises for chest. So pec deck fly, three sets of around 12 to 15 reps, and then on the last set, a single drop set. So now moving into the last exercise, I'm only gonna do one tricep movement because of my uh, tendonitis. So rope push downs, four sets of around 12 to 15 reps, and then on the last set, we'll do a single drop set. So that workout ended up being super long, like two and a half hours. Right before I got done, Shelby texted me, he's like, are you ever coming home? <laughs> so I made it home and now I'm in charge of dinner. Shelby is gonna take a bath. So she wrote down all the directions here on the fridge for me so that I don't forget them. She has two loaves of bread in the oven cooking right now. And tonight we're having Hawaiian barbecue chicken rice bowls i think it's what it's called so this is all the chicken breast with some peppers and onions and the hawaiian barbecue sauce on top and then you cook this for 25 minutes in the oven and then you add the pineapple chunks for another 10 minutes and then you put it on a bed of rice and it is super good and relatively really easy to make so dinner is served and that's what it looks like on top of rice and it is super delicious and a great post-workout meal because of the pineapple kenley is it good yeah. Is it? Yeah. I have a um, chicken mm -hmm. and rice uh -huh. and, and pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah. Good. 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 Brady, is it good? Have you playing video games? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, and Kaysen uh, is eating peppers. Kaysen, is it good? Huh? Is it good? <laughs> So everyone just got a bath, got fresh diapers, and got their pajamas on because now it is bedtime. Uh, we need to go to bed pretty early tonight because it is a time change and we gotta get up and go to church some more. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys. Peace. Peace. Oh, don't hit it hard. Peace. Good job. <laughs>